China's leap in aviation. The internet is abuzz with news and videos of an alleged sixth gen fighter, maybe bomber, flying recently. We're going to take a look at the videos and pictures and see what we might learn. All right, so the headline reads, China's sixth generation fighter, I'm not going to say fighter jet, even though I just did, potentially designed with advanced stealth and high altitude capabilities, has reportedly completed its maiden flight. This jet could introduce new elements like thrust vector control and a tailless design marks a significant step in China's military aviation technology. Social media has been abuzz with discussions. Though some aspects, like its full capabilities, remain speculative based on available imagery. Of course, it's all speculative. Now, remember we covered the air show and what we what people thought was the sixth gen fighter. Turned out it was just a prop from a movie. It looks nothing like this. So I know some people are going to be like, well, mover, this is the same. It's not. This is not the same thing. It's two different things. So we'll start with uh, the clash report here. That video. And we'll take a look. That's it flying with the J-20. Um, don't know what this fella's saying. Uh, so you can see already the gear is down. Very common for a first flight or a test flight. Leave the landing gear down. Minimizes the amount of moving parts, literally and figuratively, so that they can just test a flight. So they can just test the flying characteristics and safely land and not have to worry about gear up, gear down. That is very common to start out doing flights with just the gear down. When we did the uh, con, it was the exact same thing. Turkey's uh, fifth gen fighter. So there it is under escort. Escort, uh, it's a chase aircraft. Usually test aircraft have chase aircraft. So uh, this is, I think this was a two seater. And probably has an engineer or something in the back collecting data. They're monitoring. They're a chase ship for safety and to ensure that you know nothing goes wrong. And they have an uh, extra pair of eyes and uh, somebody that can help them out in the event of emergency. And just in general, it's good to have uh, to look the aircraft over. And that's it. That is a big, I mean, the J-20 is a big aircraft. This thing is huge. I'm not sure it's a fighter as much as it might be a J-H, meaning a bomber of some sort. So that's a close-up. Uh, you can see there, there's no tail. Uh, there's pretty much uh, a huge area for, uh, like a, for weapons bay. And it's got the... Uh, Dual gear here, very beefy gear, very beefy landing gear. That's a better picture. Cockpit, single seat, probably. That's hard to tell. It's such a massive aircraft. Uh, it looks like trailing link gear, but I can't tell with the blurry picture. Trailing link, like what the F 18 would have, but there's no tails. It's just these fins. This is a better picture. This thing is. Pure stealth design. I mean, it's basically designed uh, for radar cross section. And once the gear's up, this is going to be slick. Not a lot of uh, edges on the bottom, not a lot of stuff that could reflect radar. I guess it's three engines. I mean, you can see two clearly defined exhaust uh, nozzle areas. This might be a third. But if you look at the pictures, there's two intakes on the bottom and one on the top, which I don't I don't know what that's about, whether it's like a hypersonic thing. You know, they close off and then you've got like a scramjet or a ramjet. But I, I don't know. You see the intake on the top there? I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, this is something Rick Abel would be best to have on the show for. But there's a, a high def picture. That's huge. I mean... It, in any event, even if it is like their fighter, it's not a dogfighter. This thing is not going to be the super maneuverable. It could be very good for BVR if it's slinging missiles, especially if it can carry a lot. I mean, if you've got something that can carry 10 or 12 missiles 
and be stealthy and send them down range from very far away. That's awesome. But in close, I don't see how this thing's going to be super maneuverable, like a Su-57 or an F-22 or even Fat Amy. Like This is more of a strike bomber type uh, look to me, something that can go uh, you know, get high, get fast, maybe do some BVR work. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a strike aircraft to carry bombs uh, undetected. So this may be more of like their B-21 answer than the next gen air dominance fighter answer, but I don't know. You know, I, I don't know what our NGAD even looks like. There's been some mock-ups of our NGAD, but in general, they've been playing that close to the, the vest. But this is definitely something, it's a threat, right? This picture right here with these two aircraft represent the future of air superiority and air combat. You know, to a stealth fighter and a stealth either strike fighter or bomber or, you know, BVR type fighter. The thing you'll note, though, is China is still spending money on stuff like this and not drones. Now, they may still be doing drones, but people keep saying, well, the future of, of aircraft is, is small drones where you can have a billion drones for the amount of money. Well, look, our nearest, our near peer adversary, our peer adversary is investing in this as well, just like we are. So they know more than we do. Our designers know more than we do. I think it's safe to say that it's still going to be this. Now, whether the construct of this is you don't need a super maneuverable aircraft if you've got a weapons bay that can open and throw uh, like a loyal wingman out there to do the dogfighting for you uh, with AI, or if you've got, uh, you know, if it can carry it and drop the drones, or if it's got drone escorts, just it doesn't look like it's designed for. Uh, with in close, in visual range kind of stuff. I just don't see much maneuverability out of this, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not a designer. I feel like we should call it the moth mode. Looks like a big flying moth. Definitely loud. That's for sure. But uh, three engines, I, I don't know. 20 kilometer altitude operation range regime. I don't know how they know that. I mean, that's that's high up there in the bososphere. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Thrust vector control fighter. Uh, you know, you don't see a whole lot of thrust vectoring. It just, it doesn't look super maneuverable to me. But what do I know? Yeah, that looks like a moth. This is definitely the J-69 Mothman. And that's pretty much it uh, as far as what's publicly available right now. Just came out. Figured we'd do a quick video just talking about it. Uh, it looks highly stealthy. It's got a lot of weapons capacity. Two or three engines. Got three intakes-ish. Not sure what's going on with that. If it is thrust vector control, it may actually be super maneuverable. But it's still a big airplane. I mean, if you looked at it next to the J-20... That is a big aircraft. So I just, I don't know. I don't know what the end goal is. I would not be surprised if this is some kind of strike uh, bomber type aircraft that is maybe a different way of thinking. Uh, even if it is air to air, you know, like I said, it may have that beyond visual range capability where they're not really thinking of getting in close and, and needing to be super maneuverable. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see when it actually starts maneuvering. Uh, you know, you can't tell from just this one video, but I know you'll let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.